Tommy, he's been going all around the country doing his thing. And he had a, a spot down there at uh, U Detroit. I mean, he's just doing a lot of uh, big stuff. So, ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Funny Man. Self comedian Double R. People that don't want to travel, you know what I'm saying? They don't want to travel. When I went to Chicago, I went on a budget. Right? I've been to Chicago a few times, right? And I had because I went with like four different people, and like, okay, we all in one car. That means we all had to come back at the same time, right? Right. So my thing was this. I drove, yes, I drove. And if you downtown Chicago, a hotel room will hit you for about two hundred dollars. I said, look, dog, we can go out to Timothy Park, Harlem, get in La Quinta like eighty bucks. They want to sleep down there. Keep right. in mind, I took more money than all of them, right? I'm like, look, I'll sleep in my fucking car. Y'all go ahead and get a room, right? We get to Chicago at 10 o'clock at night. What the fuck I want to get a hotel room for when I get out at 10 o'clock in the morning, right? right? That's $200, gone. But they talking about me because I bought a $50 cheesecake and shit, right? What up? <laughs> Second day, went to the mall, and they spent all that money. We didn't even audition for who got jokes yet. They ready to go home and shit. I'm like, y'all fucked up already? <laughs> Now I gotta get them a bus ticket so they get on the Greyhound to go back home. Ain't like, this bitch? Fucking carpool didn't work. You motherfuckers drown. <laughs> fucking carpool. <laughs> it's horrible. Uh, I love living in Detroit. Go to strip clubs, dude. I cannot go to fucking strip clubs. I love seeing naked women. Even gay dudes love seeing naked women. I mean, let's be real, right? Let's be real. But strip clubs got worse than the casino. If you go to a goddamn strip club, it's ten dollars to park, ten dollars to get in, twenty dollars to sit at the stage, fifty dollars to get in the booth. Then you want the motherfucking lap dance. That's twenty five dollars a song, and the song is only thirty fucking seconds. <laughs> like, bitch, hold on, thirty seconds. Shit, I only make sixteen dollars a fucking hour. And I'm about to pay you twenty five every thirty seconds, man. Who the fuck you think you is? Shit. <laughs> right. Go out there with my cousin. He like, let's go to King of Diamonds. I'll take you $20 with me. $10 to get in, $10 to park, fuck you, I'm broke at the door. I don't give a damn. Right. About to go ahead and have the time of my life. He going up with $300 and 20. Want to get in the Make It Rain competition. I'm like, man, I ain't about to get in that shit. He throw all his money. The stripper come out with a goddamn book bag, take his money and walk the fuck off stage. Go! He looking at me like, dog, oh, what happened? I'm like, you just got robbed. Yes. Fuck yes. that. So Detroit filed for bankruptcy. How you feel about that, right? Inevitable. Huh? Inevitable? I was like, Detroit's been fucked up for a long time. You just now realize it's getting down to the bitter end. Detroit had a city airport. Do y'all remember Detroit actually had a city airport? You know what's doing bad? They shut down the airport. You know how high gas is? And you gonna shut down the airport? What the fuck is wrong with you motherfuckers? What? Just saying, I would, I would love to pay an extra hundred dollars to actually land in Detroit. <laughs> right? Let's, let's be real. When you and me come out of town, like, you gonna drop me off on Grass in the Connors? Now I walk to the crib for that bitch. <laughs> what? That's a story. That's a story of my daddy, you only can tell. He said, man, one time I came in from Atlanta, landed right there, and walked down Kilbourne, man. I walked to the crib from the airport. Like, that's only, I'm just saying, man. That's only east side shit. West side, all right. I love the west side, too. Most think about people on the west side, they like, the west side ain't just fucked up ass the east side, you know what I'm saying? Ride right seven miles from 94 all the way to Telegraph. Tell me it ain't fucked up. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's some South Street's real six mile, real fucked up, dog. Hell yeah, I was going down six mile the other day, hit a motherfucking pothole on six mile in Woodward. Charles P was higher than the bitch. <laughs> This girl tried to poison me today, right? I said, I can drink on the budget, you know? I can drink on the budget, you know? I, I don't drink Patron, I don't drink Cristal. I'm more like an absolute type of person, you know what I'm saying? Fuck it, that's, you know, that's in my budget. That's what I drink, that's what I buy, absolute. Went over this girl, I was, like I said, she tried to poison me. Got over this bitch, had some extra smooth. I said, I ain't drinking that shit. Tried to poison me, had some brown weed. I'm like, bitch, really? What the fuck is going on? There's a lot of stuff you learn to quit buying. Um, when I'm here, I love shopping at Former Mills. You know what I'm saying? I love shopping at Former Mills. 
People say, why the fuck you shop at Farm Mills? Where else can a grown ass man go get a whole outfit for twenty dollars and get some change back? <laughs> and I can eat. Oh, Dollar Manual. Hey, fuck y'all. Look, 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 look. I'm just saying, I'm just learning how to spot. Cause women, y'all got so many places y'all can shop and save money. It's all over the country and shit, right? Ain't no foreign mills in fucking New York. Ain't no foreign mills in fucking Chicago. But women, y'all can shop anywhere in the country and save money. Y'all got y'all like, top three stores. It's like Fashion Bug, Rainbow, and Dots. And this girl was like, ah, you all for saying that shit. No, I'm not, goddamn. You know where you got that motherfucking outfit from? Shit, it ain't no surprise to me. You can tell when a girl got something off of rainbows, no matter what she wear, got some gold in it. <laughs> 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 Damn, this gold is sexy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true shit though. Oh, that's cool. I, I love, I love my, I love my neighborhood. You know, moving to the suburbs was great though. But I had to come back to the city though, because I mean, staying in West Bloomfield ain't all that fucking great, you know. I ain't complaining about the property tax and the little, little bitty ass cookie cutter houses that you buy and pay all this fucking money for and shit with a 21% interest rate and all this bullshit. But I'm just saying, wasn't that great though? So I moved back to, you know, Highland Park, you know, like over in the Boston Edison neighborhood. So I gotta get a peace of mind. And, um, I was gonna be real with you. I'm telling you about my personal life. Um, I got accused of being a gay dude, and I can't defend myself about it. And all the jokes I did about gay dudes, so I didn't have to, like, just had to take it, right? My cousin came over, she had this little bitty little Dutch hound, this little wiener dog, right? And it barked at everything, so I'm like, I want to walk your wiener dog, right? So I'm walking down Edison between Woodward and the first with this little wiener dog, right? Nah, that's the first mistake. Second mistake, I'm eating lifesavers, the gummy lifesavers. Third mistake, the dog had a rainbow collar. I ain't, I don't give a fuck, right? I'm walking. I, this whole, this embarrassing shit, right? These girls roll up in a fucking white and pile, and they roll up like, "Yo, dog, so cute." I mean, badass girls, right? I'm like, "Damn, right? What's up?" They roll up like, "Yo, dog, so cute." It, it, you got some puppies? I'm like, "No, nah, right?" Then the girl in the back seat be like, "Bitch, he ain't gonna talk to you. He gay." And they roll up. <laughs> Murder. Murder. I can't say. I'm like, "Damn, bitch, I'm in that." in front of a half a million dollar house and I, I'm like, ain't this a bitch? I couldn't say shit and they rolled up. I couldn't even say nothing. They rolled off. I'm like, ain't this a bitch? He ain't gonna talk to you. He gay. I'm like, ain't this a bitch? So, you no, know, that's a new find. But that is some true shit to happen. I'm like, man, ain't this a bitch? Like, this, a, this didn't look bad. Now, I look down at the little dog and I'm like, yeah, man, I can't even. Uh, this is an Instagram moment. I'm like, this is an Instagram. This shit that's like, yeah, got yourself, motherfucker. <laughs> That's cool though. Oh, oh, so, oh, oh, um, some um, new shit. Um, anybody feel like they just like really don't got a fucking chance? Sometimes I even get to that point. I know, like, if you don't hit the lottery, like you really don't got a fucking chance. Like, man, if I don't hit the lottery, I ain't gonna get shit, right? That's how you. That's how you feel sometimes, right? But I, I reason with myself. I mean, I was walking through the mall today, and I was like, man, if I don't get go to New York and get like another development deal or something. What the fuck am I about to do with myself, right? Then I walked outside and I seen these little little bum dudes. I just I just love the dedicated bums. The bums is very persistent nowadays. You go to the gas station, right? I go to the gas station. My dumb ass, they just feel much that if I go there and put twenty dollars on my car, you know, I'll get a quarter tank barely with twenty, cause twenty is the new five. Exactly. And then here go the bums. Hey, uh, can I pump that gas for you? Like, no, I got got any extra change? I'm like, no. Mm -mm. What about when you come out? I'm like, man, leave me the fuck alone! <laughs> God damn, they is very deep. Motherfuckers do not give up. They gonna keep getting on. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm just thinking, like, if I lost everything, I'd probably be a much better person. <laughs> Think about it. If you ain't have no worries, no regrets, you wouldn't really give a fuck about nothing, right? <laughs> Could nobody make you mad? You wouldn't give a fuck about nothing. This man, you just got up. And you can just do whatever the fuck you want. Don't gotta pay no taxes. Don't got no bitches stressing you out. Don't go around putting no gas in the car. Don't worry about getting some green weed. You can smoke brown cigarettes. A smoker's choice. You don't give a fuck about that. They really do it. Going to jail is like a plus. You go there and get checked out. I mean, it might take your fucking shoestrings and shit, you know? If you're mad, it's gonna take my goddamn shoestrings. I'm tired of that shit. Oh, yeah. I'm talking about that. Anybody been locked up before? Yes, you? <laughs> Yes. 
Okay, I'm gonna get ready, guys. I'm gonna take some more time, but um, I'm not a criminal.